And welcome, everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Gruul Kiora, our next Christmas Day deck. We have to play a green-red deck on Christmas. Got to do that. And we got Puppy here. She's joining in, saying hi. Um, this is my dog. Her name's Puppy. Um, so yeah, we're doing a green-red deck, and I wanted to do a kind of a different green-red deck. I've been really liking Kiora in some some different decks and, and i was like you know what i want to just build a deck with four kioras and just kind of go from there so you can kind of see this this looks a little bit like the the naya anti metagame deck with just having questing beasts and ceratops in the main but you know like kiora rewards you for playing really good cards like questing beasts ceratops you know gruel spellbreaker bone crusher giant these are all cards that trigger kiora we got scarg and hellkites up at the top end we got a ravager worm up here too um but then, yeah, Kiora's and Great Henge can get us a lot of card advantage. And uh, Vivian can give our creatures trample and everything. So, yeah, basically, we're just wanted, wanted to play these, play Kioras, play creatures with power four or greater, and draw cards and have our creatures with power four or greater kill our opponent. That's kind of the goal of our green red deck here. So, let's go. Let's, let's try it out. So we're just going to go ahead and play in ranked. That's just kind of what we're doing today. Um, we haven't had the most luck yet. But hopefully this this gives us some, some new luck. <laughs> hey Joker, Merry Christmas. Alright, let's give this a try. So we'll have Fable Passage go grab a red source for us. Bond of Flourishing can find Kiora. Ah, uh, thanks, Storm. Brr. Puppy. Puppy. Yeah, traditional standard means best on, on arena. Traditional standard means best two out of three, and standard means best of one. I kind of want to Bone Crusher Giant that. Like, if they have Witches Oven, Bone Crusher Giant is a lot worse. Oh, well, I'm kind of glad I didn't kill it now. So, yeah, we're just going to play the Giant and then play Vivian and make this Bone Crusher Giant very big. Leyline Prowler. Huh. Well, that thing has Death Touch. This, yeah, I have to take two. I don't want to Vivian, like Vivian minus uses my mana better, but if I Vivian minus, then they can um, kill my Vivian. Attacking here does, yeah, it does let them pop this food token very easily, but that's fine. Nace, Nace, LOL. Naz, Naze, one of those, Naze Lil. Resubbing three months saying keep it up. Thank you so much there, Naze. Thank you, thank you. Where's my hype boats? There we go. Gotta get some hype boats in for our sub. Yeah. Um Yeah, if you're if you're just kinda if you're newer to, to magic here, um I recommend checking out this this article series. This should hopefully help help you learn a, a lot of stuff. Um, even though it's 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 a few years old, uh, it's still just really good lessons about ev about lots and lots of stuff with magic. Yeah. 
And so, yeah, there's there's a lot of things about deck building and, and brewing and things like that in there. Hmm. Yeah, the Mayhem Devil is definitely a big boo. I can I can kill the devil with the bone crusher giant, but then they kill Vivian. So I could trade Vivian for Devil. Or I tick up Vivian and we make the Bone Crusher a 6-5 trampler. They're still probably killing Vivian though. I guess we have to just trade. Yeah, this is this is a pretty good four card combo here. And I'm coming for you next. Why not Kiora first to have her on on the battlefield? Because there's not really things that I can. Basically, I just don't want Kiora taking damage. I just don't need to to have her take damage or have have them. Uh, if they have like a planeswalker removal spell, like a murder strider or whatever, and kill Kiora, we don't. Like Kiora isn't isn't doing anything right now. We can we can play Kiora and then play anything, even Ravager Worm, afterwards to draw cards. So we just don't need to. Basically, we just don't need to play Kiora. I want to I want to make sure the Kiora draws a card. So we want to play it, then play something that draws a card. Yeah, puppy, we in trouble. They have trail of crumbs. Trail of crumbs is broken. Crumbs with witches oven and call for familiar that is. <laughs> the only creature that we have in our deck that doesn't trigger Kiora was our draw step, of course. And this game's over. <clears throat> so what are we gonna have sideboard wise? I don't know if I would have just played like on the turn that I played the that I played the ambush. If I just don't ambush, if I just play Vivian and start ticking up Vivian, but then not not attacking. I don't know. Maybe I could have done something then. I really wish Bronzadon triggered Kiora. Sambin! Seventh month. Keeping that sub going. Thank you so much there, Sambin. <clears throat> what are you doing? Why are you so camera shy? I, I would like to, like, flame sweep a whole bunch of Gilded Geese. I don't know if that's very realistic. Am I supposed to be playing Voracious Hydra over, I don't know, over something? Over, like, Spellbreaker? 
Over Bonda Flourishing. We'll play a couple over Bonda Flourishing. Ah, oh, thanks, Salmon. Kiora! So we got turn three Kiora, turn four Spellbreaker, turn five the Great Henge. Yeah, that you we could probably play a Lotus Field in this deck. I'm not sure if it's like there are games that like Lotus Field is super super bad. We only have like two lands, you know. Even with like your third land, it's not that great uh, with, with multicolor spells, and it's slow. But with all that being said, there are some games where um, <clears throat> where Lotus Field, with especially with Kiora, is just incredible, and you just get a ton of mana. Yeah, Hawkeye's medication turned him into a dog. The reason why I didn't play Fable Passage right there is because I was thinking I wanted the Fable Passage to grab a mountain, but I also wanted the ability to have a, another forest. Like, I didn't want to just go grab mountain on turn two and not have two, two green up in case I wanted to play Brontodon on turn three. And so I just basically waited one turn for Fable Passage for that. But I guess I'm probably going to just play the Rugged Highlands here with Spellbreaker. Because this is a good time to play a tap land. <laughs> they just keep on trying to decide whether or not to attack me or Kiora. Too much loyalty, puppy. Seven. Too much loyalty. Trophy. Well, hopefully that's better for my Great Henge, at least. What are you looking at? He's so camera shy. Camera's over here. Look at all the look at all the bright pictures. Don't you like all the bright pictures? No, you like the floor. So this is kind of risky with just Brontodon not being able to kill the Trail of Crumbs right now. Oh, come on. They they have Brontodon? Oh, they have Brontodon.
Well, that went really poorly for me. They had removal for Kiora and for Great Henge. And we're drawing late game Paradise Druid again and lands. Alright, that's 11 lands though, so there's only 14 left. Puppy, we need Scargan Hellkite. Or Questing Beast. Questing Beast! Questing Beast! Not to brag, but my friend's kind of a big deal. That's you, Quest. That's you, puppy. You're a questing beast. Now, obviously, I wish I would have done haste, because then I could have had haste plus um, haste plus put a counter on it, so it still gets the counter. Watch out! Hawkeye's on the couch. Dog's name is Puppy. They're down to three. They're down to zero. So they're playing a bunch of Brontodons. I don't think I'd take out the Great Henge. I could, though. I could take out the Great Henge and, like, play Chandra instead. I don't think we do that, but maybe we do. <laughs> hey, Joker. Happy holidays. I don't know, I kind of want to play more Voracious Hydras. All right. <clears throat> One more game, puppy. And then you can go back to the living room and go have fun over there. Come on, puppy. We need the puppy luck. Puppy luck. All right, fine. Ugh, come on. She just acts like she just really acts like she's in trouble whenever she's over here. Hey, Warheart, Merry Christmas.
Thanks, Land Gardener. Merry Christmas. Wait, where's my Santa hats? There we go. Oh, Puppy just wanted to go back to the living room. She she kinda she acts she doesn't like being here on this on this chair in front of the screen and everything. She she acts like she thinks that she's in trouble. Like that I'm punishing her or something by having her sit right here. At least that, that's how she acts. The oven. They have everything. Oh my gosh, they really do have everything. Yeah, this, this is probably not going to go well for us. Basically, just already dead. So we're at 12. This is 13. Or sorry. So that's 11. That's 10. That's 9. That's 8. That's 7. That's 6. Yeah, I'm actually just dead. I'm, I'm not even going to be able to get another turn. I'm taking 11 before, before I get another turn. They had it all. Sometimes you wish Domri's ambush was just lava coil, just something you could actually cast on turn two. There are times where it's super, super powerful, but other times, just want to be able to play it on turn two. Okay, well, we didn't, didn't have to play it on turn two here. The Flash.
I definitely do not want the Great Henge countered. I don't mind that thing getting countered. Oh my gosh, birds! Oh my gosh! We're <laughs> we're gonna need even more hype up in here. Wow, Bert gifting out twenty brand new subs. Where's I need to get? We are. We are flooded with all this hype. Thank you so much, Bert. Wow. Um. Hmm. I don't even know what to do now. Thank you so much there, Bert. All right, so that bumps us up to 30, 35 subs on the day now. So we're gonna be having this sub notification sound for a little while here. All the celebration. Just have to be able to deal with this 6-6 six, six crisis somehow. Obviously, if they have any kind of bounce, I de I'm dead. Hopefully not. Sometimes you just gotta tip your cap to your opponent, though. This is just an awesome... Awesome hand. That, that also kills me. It's our opponents today. Just had awesome... Awesome hands. Hari, join in also getting the Twitch Prime sub in here. Thank you. Hadahari, thank you so much. <laughs> Junky Toast.
Yeah, that's right. This is Sub Battle Saturday. Yes, that's right. This upcoming weekend, we have Sub Battle Saturday. So just in a couple of days, we're doing a Sub Battle Saturday. That's where I'm going to be playing against subscribers all day. Maybe take out Bone Crusher Giant? Bone Crusher Giant doesn't kill the things I need it to kill. But Bone Crusher Giant is something I can play on turn 3. I'm thinking also maybe taking out Kiora. It's pretty easy to let Kiora resolve and then counter other things. Whoa, Bert! And Sane also getting the Twitch Prime stuff in here. Holy cow, y'all are amazing. Bert, the big Merry Christmas there also. Bert, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. Wow, I don't even know what to say. Thank you. Y'all are just the best. I mean, this is why... You, you guys are the reason why I am able to, um, you know, do this every day and, you know, play Magic for a living, and I just really, really appreciate it. Right, it's a Can't battle. thank y'all enough. We got more more subs coming in. Jay Reek with the 10 months. Amatrin getting us there to number 39. Courtesy of Bert. The ocean surges, life thrives. Um, it's, yeah, $20 for a donation deck, Panda, and I, mean, I can play it tomorrow. Field Greg, getting in there with a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Field Greg. And Lentz, also a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Where are we at now? MTG bot just keeps on going up, so that's number 42. We're going to be getting to a 12-hour stream here real soon. Got a frill mystic. I love to make a splash. We got them down to seven. The cure was going to die either way. And I really hope they don't have a two mana counter spell with that breeding pool. It sure looks like it. Uh, yes, we've hit 15 sub goals now. So if they have Quench, gosh, I just hope they don't have Quench also. 
these don't have that. I guess they could have negate or ether gust. They could have any of those. Boo. And we just have to kill Nissa. Can't believe we're going to be losing this game. <laughs> but it sure looks like it. They've had... Just yet again, just like the things they really need. Just over here drawing our paradise druids late in the game. Alright, so I know we have other blockers, so we can attack. But like they can they can double block of course with breeding pool of wolf and trade. Smug, Merry Christmas. I just had to hope to outdraw them here, but they got two cards over there. We're not doing a very good job of outdrawing with drawing two lands in a row, but they may have drawn two lands in a row as well. I just I did trample, didn't I? Did I I clicked I clicked haste, not trample? Whoops, sorry. Too much stuff going on. All right, well, I missed, what, one point of damage? Which, you know, obviously could be the difference here. Pay for quench and dispute. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to take out one of the two Great Henges and play an extra Ambush on the draw. Game three. Man, that one was close. I did not think we were winning that. For a little bit there. Nah, I don't... Basically, Fry can only just kill Krasis. You know, like, it doesn't hit Nissa, it doesn't hit Amp... Ambusher, like those are the things that I need to hit, kill are Krasis and Ambusher. Or sorry, are Ambusher and Nissa. Hey, we have some Mexicans resubbing with Twitch Prime for the third month in a row now. Thanks for keeping on that streak as well.
sub number 44 on the day. Well, there's two two bad case scenarios for me. One, they have Ambusher. Two, for that block. And then two, if they have Nissa also. With the arc bow at my side, so if they have Nissa also, we're, gonna tear you we're in a lot of trouble. If they don't have Nissa, we're good. Please no Nissa. Please no Nissa. Yay, no Nissa. All right, we are good. Good-ish. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Start taking the lands out of the deck. Yeah, the reason why... Yeah, no, I wanted to... Yes, exactly. I wanted to bait the Ambusher and let Vivian resolve. If I play Vivian first, they've filled Mystic the Vivian. And so by waiting... By attacking with the Paradise Druid, they play the Ambusher to eat the Paradise Druid, and then I get to resolve Vivian and kill Ambusher. Killing Ambusher. The important... So we know Chandra is going to be able to resolve. Let's play this thing that doesn't normally necessarily resolve. And there we go. We got the win. Gruul Kiora. Sarah Tops. Doing a lot of work. Right. We're one and one. Do you have a best of three blue red draw deck? Yes. It's called <clears throat> Is It Alliance? If you look at the you know, look at the YouTube videos for Is It Alliance. I've played that a couple of times in the last I've played it like twice in the last like three, four weeks. <clears throat> yeah, I agree that yeah, if my opponent blocked the Ceratops with the wolf both games, that would have been more difficult for me to win. I agree there. So, if they have Brineborn Cutthroat here, basically I'm untapping my land for Brineborn Cutthroat to be able to kill Cutthroat if they play Cutthroat. There. Oh. So this is not Is It Flash. As I thought. Huh. Just guy fires. Oh, I should have just thrown the Bone Crusher Giant at them. I should have just done that. Um.
That was a good draw with the ambush. I was I was planning on just going double spellbreaker as four fours because you know the spellbreakers don't die to Clarion. So that was kind of my plan, was just to get two four fours out here. That was my plan. But that's better. Don't let them scry. Yeah, we started the stream with a we started the stream with a number. We were at like number 14 1400. And so we've gone 5 and 7, which, you know, 5 and 7 is a losing record, but it's not it's not the worst record. We've drawn dropped down basically four losses. <clears throat> with that Hey, European man, Merry Christmas. Um, I'm... Maybe, Matthew. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I... I do. It's a good suggestion, though. I'll, I'll think about it. Makes that the easiest block ever. Land, please. <laughs> oh, I didn't specify what land. Silly me. Didn't specify. Yeah, this is this is definitely tough to beat whenever Fire's Invention has this kind of hand. I don't know why they didn't draw the card last turn. Like they could have hit like another big creature to play off of Fire's. They only played one spell. They certainly should have just drawn with Kenrith on their last turn. Yeah, I'm not playing Giant because I'm going to try to kill Kenrith. They only played one spell. They do have another spell here if they have a counter spell. I'll see if they played a second spell so that. <clears throat> Alright, get a land out. Yeah, they can counter with fires in play. It's on their turn, they can cast spells on their turn. Beast. Thanks, Q. It's 
So we get to have haste with Hellkite plus get a counter because of the Great Henge. That's a really cool synergy with with the Great Henge and Skargon Hellkite. So, you know, like like Skargon Hellkite's ability, you can only activate this ability only if it has a plus one plus one counter on it. Well, they can't play anything. So I'm pretty sure that's just lethal. Okay, well after that Kenrith, they just ran out of gas. So that's good. All right, so Fry can kill Kenrith and Cavalier of Gales. Brontodon can blow up a Fires. If we have a lot of mana, Voracious Hydra can fight things. Hey, Schnapps, Merry Yuletide. 25 months there, Schnapps. Thank you so much. That's sub 46. I guess I was behind. <laughs> sub 46. All right, we'll take out a Kiora. We'll take out Bone Crushers. I don't know. All of our cards are good. Am I really going to be able to Voracious Hydra kill stuff? Maybe. I mean, just Voracious Hydra is getting counters on it. I guess we're just going to replace the, those. If I just, you know, make it, you know, just double the counters, like, large creatures are good in this matchup. We got to take out four more cards. I guess Bond is gone because we we're playing Fry instead. And a Shabby. Getting the Twitch Prime resub. Thank you, Shabby. Merry Christmas. <clears throat> All right, so that gets a 62. Yeah, maybe it's Breaker. I don't know. I took out a Paradise Druid. I don't know. Paradise Druid dying to Clarion. I'm trying to make my deck good against Clarion in general. And then I guess a Ceratops. But maybe I'm supposed to take out a Spellbreaker, not a Ceratops. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that last one. Yeah, I guess I, guess I should have taken out Spellbreaker. Anything is possible. Um, a mid-range deck built around Prime Speaker Vanifar. I do not know of any Prime Speaker Vanifar decks. Um, I've built a couple a while ago now. Probably about a month ago or so that I called Bant Value that had Shoe Lane and um, cards like that. No scry for you. Bad Sphinx, no scry.
Yeah, I had yeah, I had I had a couple neoforms, a couple of anifars. So if you kind of look at the YouTube page for for Bant value, that could give you some ideas at least. At the very least. Two lanes on cast. From the smallest ant to the largest Cavalier of Gales is like my least favorite thing to kill. Watch out. They bite. Because of this. Shuffle back those two cards they didn't want and then scry two. But this, of course, does put a lot of pressure on them. You know, like, they're at 10. It's a lot of pressure. It's going to be hard for them to kill Vivian with, like, a, you know, a creature. If they play, like, just a creature, give haste. Um, their best things, besides fire, is obviously Bone Crusher Giant killing the Vivian. I, I hope they don't have that, but they could. Wait a minute. All right, so Vivian's dead. This will be fun to watch. All right, so Vivian dies because the Cavalier of Flames trigger, but we did get to make the Spellbreaker a 7-7 so that the Cavalier doesn't die. Or sorry, the girl spellbreaker. Sorry, we made the girl spellbreaker a seven seven, so it doesn't die. Joe, did you see from two days ago uh, the Bant Adventure deck that we played with Chu Lane? That deck was pretty cool. Play Chu Lane with a bunch of adventure creatures. Um, yeah, we have played some Grixis Control in Historic. Um, on again on the YouTube channel, there's a playlist for historic. I played two different Grixis controls, one that I made and then one that a viewer made, and they're both similar. And I think the viewer made one was better. That was the the more recent one. They spent more time into the list. They get to gain five life. Puts them up to nine. Voracious Hider is just always awesome. Should just have four Voracious Hiders in the main deck. I need to play more Voracious Hydra decks. That card's just all this card's just always incredible in this metagame. So they still have to chump. Gotta chump, 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 gotta chump, chump, chump. 
the Outer Worlds. Well, I mean, they need, yeah, they need like Time Wipe. But then, of course, we still have the Spellbreaker. Now I don't I don't know what they can possibly play now. I mean That's not gonna do it. Land Gardener Okay, the viewer Grixis list tomorrow. Okay. So Grixis control in historic Tomorrow. Where's my pen? It's over here. Uh, which which slot would you like me to play? First, second, third, or fourth? I did like how our creatures matched up in that Jeskai Fires matchup. It seemed like we matched up pretty well against their creatures, and we're good against Clarion. All right, second. This could be a pretty devastating hand. Spellbreaker with some ambushes. Okay, Storm, have a good night. Have a Merry Christmas. Day and I'll see you. See you tomorrow. Oh, that was the wrong first land. I thought I just had two stomping grounds. No. Multitasking while playing MTG is tough. <laughs> but yeah, this is a an above average start. Mana just works perfectly. <laughs> I think that's an above average start. I don't know, maybe if I... No, even if I would have played the correct land, we were dead. So this is 61. Hey, Arrow. Uh, yeah, Bronsodon blown up Ember Cleave. Does sound good. All right, we'll put in two Bronzodons over two Spellbreakers because of that. <laughs> no, I, I just sideboarded out Ravager Worm. It's in the main deck. But well, they costing six. All right, have a good night, Joe. Hey, Fish. Happy Christmas.
do really like Voracious Hydra. Give us a try. No, I, I didn't, Choco. See either of those questions. Guess Hawkeye got some trips to the vet recently. Trying to get better. Perfect mana again. Brontodon. We've seen a lot of cat decks today. We've played against quite a bit of Cauldron Familiar decks. Get him, Hydra. They have Rimrock Knight. I did side down to two Kioras. Uh, I'm just a little too slow for playing these other Kioras here. Oh, Black Lance Paragon. It's a lot worse than Rimrock Knight for me. That's a lot worse. That was a bad block. Oh, that's awesome, Joker. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is... Move. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. We're gonna tear you apart. I mean, <clears throat> certainly looks like we're dead. Um, I mean that. Yeah, Kali, that's that's part of that's part of variance. You said you've gone first in thirty six percent of your games. Like that's just that happens. That's there's no, you know like that's just you know coin flips. You just won thirty six percent of the coin flips. There's nothing wrong with the program. That just happens. And Colton with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Colton. All right, two and two. They had perfect mana and very good hands both times, so GG's. 
You got me. Mountain. Is this mono red? Sure, it looks like it. We got slang fire. to survive. I'm basically going to try to make it difficult for them to kill Vivian and uh, have Vivian be able to grow these creatures even more. Like, I'm, I'm fine with, you know, like, Ceratops would have just traded with Bone Crusher Giant, but now Ceratops trades for Bone Crusher Giant and a Shock. Um, or, yeah, sure, and, and the Rimrock Knight, same thing. You know, so we're trading for extra there. And we can kind of just keep that going. You know, make it even more difficult to my trade with my. this thing now. How you've grown. And eventually they just won't be able to trade anymore. And of course I can uh, minus five Vivian as well to go grab Voracious Hydra. I'd get out of the way <clears> if we just keep on having so much mana, and we can make a very large Voracious Hydra um, by just you know doubling the counters. There you go, Joker. Get the sub. Now you get to use all the emotes, Joker. My my. If you enjoy How using all the emotes, home. that's sub number forty-nine. You're in. Thank you so much, there, Joker. See, it's like it's like how are they going to do with this deal with this nine-nine? It's just impossible. Too many numbers for mono red there. Too many numbers. All right, so maybe we just take out Kiora completely. We saw like that last game, Kiora not looking good.
not sure if I need Bronted on. Yeah, it destroys Ember Cleave, but if we do our job, that doesn't matter. Would I rather have Bronted on over Ravager Worm? Not really. I mean, we have these things in Flame Sweep. Bronted on just kind of underpowered. Uh, yeah, Gruel Kiora without Kiora, just for this one post board game. Arrow Peg getting us to six, getting us to fifty. Arrow with the hype. Thank you so much for using Twitch Prime sub there, Arrow. Five sub goals today. Yeah, there's the Discord. The Discord's for everybody. So whether you're a sub or not a sub, feel free to join the Discord. Um, you know, there's a place in there to, to talk magic. Or, you know, like, it's basically just like a chat room if you don't know about Discord. That's where I put my announcements, like, if there's a day that, I, that I'm not going to be streaming for whatever reason. But there's a room in there um, for your pets. There's a, a Christmas channel now, so you can put your Christmas pictures in there, or just, you know, or ho other holiday pictures. Um, if you want to talk about Theros. Um, but then Pioneer, Historic, Brawl, Popper, EDH, Legacy, Modern. Best of three, best of one. Just brews for and deck building, F and M. This is risky letting this resolve and them having the extra one red mana because then they could pump the steamkin up. That's risky. I think I would rather. Just not take the risk. Let them have a 1-1. One, one. I think I can figure out how to beat a 1-1. One, one. I think. Maybe not. We'll see. Oh, yeah. I, did, I didn't play the Paradise Druid because of Flame Sweep. Because they had they had the steamkin over here from the the light of the stage was the steamkin, so they're going to be playing steamkin, and I was going to be casting flame sweep, or maybe we saw that the next turn. But I knew I was going to be doing the flame sweep on turn three. I knew that was happening. I think I've learned that Fervent Champion is just unblockable. <laughs> just can't ever block it. Okay, gotta kill that. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive. You picked the wrong fight. Gotta kill that. Maybe I shouldn't even be trying to protect Vivian. Maybe I just attack for six, put him down to six. I got all this stuff in hand.
get out of the way if I were you. <laughs> it has Kiora in it. I just sideboarded out Kiora for that one game. Hey Zoid, Merry Christmas. Yeah, the yeah, the blue red counter burn decks, those are yeah, they're good. They are very good. Alright, so we went three and two with Gruel Kiora. Uh one of our losses was the the Mardu uh knights. And honestly, I think just like I think that most of the time we would beat Mardu Knights, you know, like maybe fifty five percent of the time. I think we have some good tools there and you know having like the flame sweets the bone crusher giant the all four voracious hydras I, I i wouldn't mind playing that matchup a lot i think we'd be favored but my opponent had awesome hands and they got us that was one of like the 45 percent of us losing so so three two and we lost to a good matchup so i don't the deck played well the deck played well um i liked how it played against fires i thought that was um a good a good showing Voracious Hydra should probably just be a four of in the main deck. That card is just awesome. But I don't know how, where would we fit in Voracious Hydras? That's the thing. I don't know where we would fit them in. I mean, like, in, I guess, like, Bond of Flourishing would never looked that great. I wanted a couple of more things to play on turn two. Um, but, like, the, the Bone Crusher Giants basically count as turn two plays, right? Like, with the Stomps. But Domery's Ambush doesn't. You know, like, Domery's Ambush is, like, turn three late or later, right? So it's, so, like, if we take out Bond of Flourishing, we basically have eight things to do on turn two. In Virginia, there's Zoid. Um, that's probably fine. Get some Voracious Hydras in the main deck. At least there's room for two of them there. And then maybe another one over a Spellbreaker. And then there. At least we have three Voracious Hiders in the main deck now. And then you got three sideboard slots that are freed up. Um, we did kind of struggle against... Uh, the Junge sacrifice whenever they, you know, whenever they're going crazy. I guess Return to Nature is the best thing to be playing there. I think that's, I think Return to Nature is better than. <clears throat> better than Cinder Vines. And honestly, it just kind of feels better than Brontodon. So you, we have like some sideboard slots that you, can, that you can play around with here. Maybe get an extra Chandra in the sideboard instead of Brontodon. Because. I feel like Bronzadon's just too slow at trying, you know, like, I don't like having Bronzadon kill Witch's Oven, and even even trying to kill uh, Trail of Crumbs, it's, it's just so much mana to kill those things, and you have to sacrifice, which triggers the Mayhem Devil. I think we need cheaper things. So we need, uh, we need Return to Nature. This is just the best card, because it can exile the Cauldron Familiar from the graveyard also, and that's really nice. It just kind of does everything. So maybe you just play four Return to Nature and you just don't even play Brontodon. Or at least play like one Brontodon. I just never really liked the Brontodons. I guess you'd rather have Brontodon against Jeskai Fires, maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> so there we go. Um, so that's Gruel Kiora. Felt pretty good. Felt pretty good as far as like, you know, like the Gruel decks that we've been playing here recently. Um, we've, uh, you know, like I liked what we had going on here, but I, re I really like Voracious Hydra. I want to get that in the main deck, and Return to Nature could be a good sideboard option. All right. Um, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed Gruel Kiora as well, and hope you're having a wonderful holidays. 
And of course, hit that like button over there and leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.